season come. I still, I still am not wake. I am not wake up yet. I feel like I'm dreaming right now because this is my first time to join uh, international tournament and I champion. Wow! Honestly, indescribable emotions and feelings. And innocent, I have to ask you: you stood taller. You are now the MSC 2024 champion, and you've won one million dollars. What's the first thing that you want to buy? It feels like a dream because, you know, we didn't expect it that we will get the champion. We just want to play and we will show to the world that we can we can fight against strong teams. You definitely, definitely proved that. Incredible performance from you, Innocent. Absolutely fantastic. And I have to say thank you to everyone that's been here. Guys, one more time. Come on, give it up. Silango Red Giant! We will now proceed to the medal awarding ceremony. Boys, join alongside me over here to get ourselves ready for the medal ceremony. And now, I would like to welcome on the stage Mr. Ray Ung of Monsoon Games, the head of the esports ecosystem, to present the champions of MSC 2024 with their golden medals. champion. Tell us, how does it feel to be crowned the best player in the tournament here on the Amazon Arena? Alhamdulillah, first of all, Alhamdulillah. I actually, I don't, I don't have words to say, but I just really want to say to thank you for 
all the Malaysians fans and who are support us and until we champion and I never expect to uh, unbeatable uh, until 100, I don't know, seven, seven yeah, uh, yeah, it's unbeatable. What's your message right now to everybody watching here who stood by you regardless what anyone else said and to everybody back home that's cheering for your name, that's cheering for Selangor Red Giant? Uh, to me, I just want to say I already proved to the netizen that say in Malaysia going to fall zero against the brand and we made it wrong. We are the champion, bro! And they are the champions! And now to immortalize this victory, it's now time for a photo op. So boys, strike a pose worthy of the champions of MSC 2024. Show off your golden medals. And don't forget, show off your trophy for MSC 2024. For you have gone on a 107 day win streak, undefeated, unscathed on your journey to see the world. Remarkable performance. You are now the best in the world here at MSC 2024 at the Esports World Cup. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, in the Amazon Arena, give it up for your champions, Selangor Red Giants! On behalf of the 23 participating teams, talents from across the globe and everyone who has made this possible. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. Once again, my name is Mara Aquino. And my name is The Wood Sandstorm. Now we're gonna go back to our panel to discuss this history making right now. Casters, back to you. That's a wipe out. out. Falcons AP Bren finding the revenge from the first game and now they're really, really claiming more control, more space in the jungles. And take a look at Yuru Red Giants. They need to watch their mid tier two taken out. Wow. The overextension did not... Built already from the side oh. of Yuru Red Giants. The Ling, uh, the Barats, and the Kufra. Mm -hmm. So there's damage, but also they're so sustained. That's sustainable. And that is perhaps what Falcon, uh, Falcon's AP brand needs to, you know, okay, they have Thunderbelt, so let's not commit on towards Sakai's if the opportunity isn't that big. Let's just, you know, stay composed, wait for the right timing, and take a look at this. Sakai's managed to push. Oh! Oh! He's caught! No. no! He was just about to go, but nevertheless, he was able to pull through. He's going out, and it seems that Ooh. he just almost close enough to his own death, but he managed to move away to survive it out. Yeah, the great escape there in this game. And now, Yudu Red Giants, again, without Sakai's, they will not be able to be more aggressive in the purple buff. Response is coming off a little bit too slow and to a point that most of the advantage is coming in for the team of Falcon. Lord has been spawned and this is the signal will be put out for that scrimmage to be open. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can see here again, um, Falcon say rebrand, try to dictate control. Oh, Wave Dragon all towards Yumes, a Roamer Flicker is committed. And now day one war, Stormy will be taken out. Good, last inside of Flicker as well. Cram surviving, surviving barely, but the Tempest of Blade will find the shutdown. Looking for the double, it's Super Marco in wolf form. Looking for blood oh. and Kyle Teasy. Cheeky Angle finds the kill. I mean, at least Kiss did manage to actually trade it off, but unfortunately, he's already down by the lifeline. Is it? And it, oh no! Wait, what? Oh. Innocent? Almost. Almost. He jumped in. Almost got a kill, but now he is in trouble. Tempest Blade mm. that was stolen actually will not be able to find a mark, but Sakai's will fall nonetheless. Innocent as well. I mean, Innocent will fall nonetheless, and Yudu Red Giants claiming another L. This is not looking so good. At least I, I will feel proud of myself after this game. You know why? Because my prediction is coming true. Falcon is actually responding well. But here on out, going in for a fight right this instant. It's going to be Sakai. We're able to take down few. 
Oh, 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 super. Oh, my goodness, oh. Scott Easy. The Quad Shadow connects on towards it, guys, and he will be taken down. Now, Uterate Giants full defense with the Lord. It's a 4v5 with the Lord. You, though, will not be able to participate, and that will be it. Uterate Giants, great defense. And now they will have to clear the super minions first, though. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, I, I'm, I'm loving it. The fact that the defense was is doing well. But Flav TZ, Krams, he, okay. he should not overcommit. There's, there's two players right there. And somehow he gets the information and Flav TZ just moves away. Just when they thought they tried to do an ambush, Krams gets the upper hand to scout the other much more better. But here on out, 3v1 situation, Kram is all alone. Coming up for the backup right this instant, it's gonna be Sakis mm -hmm. coming in for a fight. All Gwen, just a little bit too close to be taken out. Flap Disease also down by the lifeline. Oh my god, Tempest of Blade in the back side. Kram is taken out. Yumes will be able to get out, but Sakai is, oh my goodness, again, showing fast hands. Yumes jumps in with Innocent, who has the items already, but no. Super Marco was put with it, but will have to be traded. Now Innocent still looking for that last kill on towards Flap TZ. Has the immortality, will be popped up, and that will be the last of Flap TZ. He will fall now in the hands of Innocent, surely. There you go, finally, killing spree <laughs> for Innocent. A little bit <laughs> disturbed by the innocent, uh, by yeah. the side of Minion. He was like, oh, wait, wait, who am I shooting? Wait, wait, okay, there he goes, <laughs> right in front. I missed my own target, but nevertheless, it's okay. He didn't manage to connect the dot anyway. Great job coming in from YRG. Good response. That's what is needed coming in from them after wow. a very, very late game. I mean, they got the bills, they got what they needed, yeah. but still, meeting off with the team of Falcon, wasn't as strong as they expected, you know? I mean, what a, what a recovery, right? Yeah. It was um, five minutes in, it was Falcon's AP brand with the control, with the map, with the gold. But now, it's all dead even. Take a look at the economy, right? Oh, Sarji looking for an opening on towards Super Marco. The damage is there. Tempest of Blade will secure that kill. Now in the backside, Shadow Kill on towards Innocent, but no damage whatsoever. Sakai claiming the double as an assassin. Now he might look for a triple, but Stormy will fall in the process. That's a two for one still for the Malaysians. Oh, why RG? They're popping off. I mean, like, yeah, on the side of aggression, on the start, it was all for Falcon. It was all show for Falcon. And now YRG, defense-wise and responding well, is superb. They're going to actually get the, the lot. Definitely Innocence right there. But Falcon coming through. Is it going to be Ogwen who actually steals it oh. off? Just a little bit of... Come, oh, Kizzy! Steal it off for themselves. And here or not, scrimmage coming through. YRG is not happy with it. They're going to go in for a fight with Flat TZ. Even though they did manage to steal it, they want to finish him off already. It is all for naught. You get the Lord, you die. And there you go. You was catching two. No follow-up damage though, Super Marco. Ah, ooh, looking for that kill. Does not find it though, as Gram will be the sandbag. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you will be taken out in the process ooh. with Sakai's. As Sakai's will look for Super Marco. Super Marco has damage. He has to be careful here. Wind of Nature popped nope, nope, very nope. smart there uh, by Super Marco. Nice, nice coming in from Super Marco. But Sakis, a little bit too overextension coming for him. I know that he was a little bit confident, but liking how the back and forth started out for the team of YRG. Two risks down by the numbers right now. At least one is advanced for the side of the team of Falcons. But on the side of YRG, uh, despite that the lot has already been shut down, it's a reset for both team again. Yeah. Falcons AB Bren, they got the Lord, but they didn't manage to find a win yeah. in the team fight. So, yeah, that Lord is irrelevant. You yeah. do Red Giants now. Yeah, they lost the Lord, but they low key win the fight. So, mm -hmm. again, situation quite, quite stable. Mm -hmm. Looking at the economy and looking at the builds as well. Take a look at Super Marco's damage, though. Wild, 119,000. Very close towards the uh, two innocent. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, they're, they're on a strike right now. And hopefully, this is going to be the back and forth that we are expecting 
Flap TZ on the run with no, uh, 70,725 damage and Super Marco right down on him at the second place with 61,806. I mean, it's, it seems to see that Flap TZ is, is actually having a, a really good time and somehow they're going to go in for the mid lane fight. Mm -hmm. Careful here, Flap TZ has the immortality and seems like the Red Giants wants to pop that immortality yet again. Now, few looking to provide cover as well, but Eudora Giants here, no clear window here on towards the, uh, onto committing fight just yet. They just want the turtle. They will get it, though. I mean, this is what we've seen the so purple. far. The crossfire that was coming in. They they did manage to actually steal some of the buff from Sakai's uh, unit. But then it seems that SRG, YRG is doing the same as well. They say, like, if you do it to us, we can do it to you as well. And now, with 19 seconds on the clock, Lord is about to be spawned again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and okay, both teams here, they're playing it slow. They mm -hmm. realize that you mentioned the Lord. Oh, never mind. You must open things up Wait, with Gogwen. And Ogre now falls. We're 435. That's a huge window for Yudura Giants to exploit that Lord pit. Okay, let's see. That's easy. He's on, but then they go out with the Lapu. And honestly, yeah, I mean, technically it does the same thing. Just not, no instant petrify, right? When you go for the Furious Die. But yeah, finishing or even dealing with the Nether Realm would be great. Sky's already. Rotating up top, Kalti's gonna be caught in the quad shadow. Sky's following in forward. Go for the shurikens here. She'll be able to do it. Sky forward. Oh, Kalti with the help of Ogwen. They can take it for now, but at the same time, right? How do they unlock wow. them? Good zoning. This is this is a, a good way to do so. Falcon's AP brand already utilizing the man advantage in the bottom lane to actually stop Cram from getting that cannon minion. That will actually stop him from getting level four, which means Kalti should be able to steal it or actually just take it for free. No contest at all from SRG. Yeah, a really good off-tempo play from the side of Falcon's AP brand. They decided, you know what? Hey, oh wait, you're going to get two waves in the mid so that few can actually start zoning out Cram for these bigger fights. And with that being said, that's an early turtle for Falcon's AP brand, but Kalti especially with the lead that he has EXP wise, he's going to be able to really start threatening and burning battle spells from Slango Red Giants. Welcome to AP Bren. It's all about that farming now. Up against Skies on the Hayabusa, Nolan does have an advantage when it comes to that clear speed. So that's definitely something that Falcons AP Bren will continue to utilize here. Kyle, also known for his amazing, phenomenal pathing. Now, a level ahead. He should be able to find another lead here because this is what I was talking about for the Yuzong at least, right? For, for Kram on the Alapu, you're going to be great, especially in the mid game. But in the early game, if you got that Yuzong, you would be able to force to just win out this lane. I mean, I, I agree that if they want to win out this lane, but at the same time, SRG is thinking a little bit further than that, right? Because look at the nature of how these games have been going. It's yes, you get a lead in the laning phase, but then afterwards, what happens? The big turnaround we've seen from both of these teams somehow more consistently on SRG's side, but at the same time with the Lapu, you're now not dependent on your battle spells anymore, right? You don't need to have that Petrify Furious Dive to make something happen. You just brave as fighter and hope for the best. Warrior Boots first item from Cram here. He's actually going for... I wonder, I wonder what he's actually going for there. If he just wants to stay on that item. It's a Thunderbolt though. Rushed in from Flap TZ. Kyle TZ already pushing Cram. Putting the pressure down on him in the bottom lane. He's already down quite a bit but from you know all those early ganks from Few. Now he's going to be down even more. He's going to lose an entire wave, I think, with the cut. Yeah, that's Yo's. a little... Ooh. I mean, that's a little unfortunate. I think that Kram is going to first item War Axe instead of going uh, for the traditional Hunter Strike at this point. Or, uh, mainly because I think when he jumps in, Owen is going to stop everybody else from continuing the dive, you know, ca really capitalizing on it. And with that peel being said, uh, with the extra spell vamp that you get from that War Axe, it might just buy him the precious few seconds. Ooh, he almost wild charged. All alone, though, now going to be taken down by Super Marco. Great read. And for Falcon's AP friend, it was just about speed. SRG were ready for that speed. Exactly. Like, I'm surprised that they even wanted to contest for it in the first place. I would have think that, you know, they would have opted to just back away. You know what? Take the turtle, whatever. Maybe we can find a lane lead somewhere. Like and fall straight into the flicker with Love Fury onto Innocent. 1v3 taken down under the turret. No trades for SRG. Oh boy. Good stuff coming out from Falcon's AP Brand. Keep in mind, the Nether Realm is still up from few. This was a guaranteed dive to happen. Oh, whoa. Final Slash breathing out the black shoes already. Stormy 
kind of in a bit of trouble now, you know? He's not even able to walk up fully because he doesn't know. Where's Ogwen? Now he does, and now he rotates back towards the mid lane, wants to give that wave over towards the Harith. Yums is just holding it down. Mm -hmm. Look at this read here coming in from Few. He's going to be able to get the Shadow Stampede off, but regardless, right, Falcon AP Brent are very aware that Skies has good opportunities yeah. to actually find the side. Oh! Final slash, but into the Fracture straight into the Vengeance! Well played, Falcons AP Bren. The combination to assassinate Skies. Beautiful, beautiful stuff here. World champions for a reason, am I right? Innocent. Zaman Force used up. Few rotating up top, relieving some of that pressure, and Super Marco is still ahead of Innocent. Ogwen again, a pinch maneuver under the turret, forcing Innocent to walk all the way back to that bush. SRG need to fight for priority here. At this point, like, Yums, as much as he's responding, he's not helping the mid-wave actually being cleared to get Stormy in a position where he can start drawing the line. By the time he gets there, it's already too late. So far, so good for Falcons AP Brand. Cal TZ comfortably ahead one level this time around as we wait for the next neutral objective. And even in the bottom lane, SRG have already sent Cram towards the top side of the map to contest for the neutral objective. And now the bottom lane, the lead grows even more, not just for Kyle, but for Flap as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, the weirdest part is the fact that Fal it feels like Falcons AP Bren are taking the page out of Slango Red Giants' book. Hey, we're going to force you to keep answering our questions on our time. We're not going to give you that op opportunity to regroup and find the counter engage. Well, now with Kyle, that speed. Fracture used up the passive together with Super Marco's bullets. That's an easy take. Three neutral objectives, all the Falcons AP. Bren, no contest whatsoever. Skies finds a cross map play. But we'll have to see if he can escape from this one. Shadow Kill used up onto Flap TZ. Kyle TZ waiting in the midst of it all right now. The stun should be able to take him down. And just like that, he didn't even use the vengeance. Stone Cold Flap. Oh, man. Skies unable to buy enough time. I'm pretty sure he probably didn't exactly get the best quad shadow in the world earlier. But at this point, any single advantage is great for Falcons AP Brand if they want to bring it back and force a tiebreaker between the two teams. At this point in time, SRG, if they're the only way that they're going to find a big tempo play is they've created uh, create an advantage with the wild charge, right? So far, Yums has not been able to get there at the right place at the right time because of the way that Falcons AP Brand are kind of splitting them up. Final oh. slash right into the knockup. Super Marco's running like in form. You can hear him. Yums able to escape for now. No flicker on Krem. Skies tries to go with the Quad Shadow, just revealing them. Kalti's he's two levels ahead. Threatening. Oh, the Stormy beating on the Black Shoes. Oh my goodness, that damage. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Let's look at the gold difference here because right now Super Marco is currently 1,200 gold ahead, and that's not what you want to see. But even so, even Kyle TZ continuing to be... I mean, he's so far ahead already. He is so far ahead, and I think the items display it very well. He doesn't even need the Sky Piercer, right? He thinks, okay, I'm going to go for Blade of Heptasis and then Hunter Strike, and then I'll go for the Sky Piercer. I already have enough damage early game, fool. Mm-hmm. And with that being said, right, situational items are going to start coming into play, and I think it's important that they get it as soon as possible because right now that's a three item roger and uh not exactly the best position to be if you're low slowly flap tz the barrier in all in but flap tz able to find a final slash we goes out oh and now with a capitalization fire of nature into the wild charge three members knocked up as cram gets the bravest fighter stun now the nether realm comes down to super marco deals with the back line shadow kill forced out now with the lichen form sky is very low you flicker but now sky is going back with the quad shadow meanwhile stormy forced to use the black shoes as skies cannot go for the assassination will be forced back again it's one for all flap Going in, connecting onto Yums, but will not be able to find the hit. Innocent, with his Amon Force, turns things around, finds a trade back, and Cram is back up. Mm -hmm. Nice reaction time coming in from Yums. That power of nature saved his life from Flap TZ, trying to go for that final slash. But at the end of the day, Falcons AP Bren, despite trading Flap TZ over to Innocent, doesn't matter. They got the neutral objective, and that's the most important part. Again, now with the Lord. A big one of that, guys. Jumps in, Shadow Kill, Nether Realm not up just yet, Few can't escape, it's Stormy who finds it, straight into the fadeaway with the black shoes. Into the turret, they find a pick, and I think this Lord 
Falcons AP Bren will still be able to utilize it. The passive was on full stacks from Few. He's back up already. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the damage dealt so far because right now oh. we're seeing that Few. Again, these fights have been really, really compact. And the closer SRG sticks together, the more the Ghost Burster is going to do even more damage. And man, you can just see how badly Flapteezy wants to catch somebody. Just overextending even by a single pixel. They'll find everything. But similar to the previous game, right? We did see that, you know, on Fanny, you want to be able to kind of split push on the side of the lane. For Hayabusa, exact same thing, right? You want to kind of alleviate the pressure. Ooh. Oh, Super no. Marco with the chase down. Now Sky's going back and forth. Scratch down Super Marco. Wins the 1v1. He panicked the quad shadow. He sent it into the wall. That wasn't ideal, but hopefully they can protect mid tier one. They will still be able to do so up top. Innocent sent to deal with the Lord, but he's all alone. He's used his mind force. Oh, Grin. Look at this menace, Flapteezy, walking forward with the Vengeance, able to find it onto Yums, didn't get the stun. Kalteezy in the mid lane, zoning Cram away, and they are able to zone them away, at least from the tier 1 in the mid lane, getting that tier 2 up top as well. Kyle Force back, Stormy, and now Yums, great maneuvers by him with the Conceal, to zone them away from this turret. Oakwen, knock up, final slash, is placing Yums, still able to find a wild charge. Kalteezy in the back, Shadow Kill used up, Netherrealm there to protect them, meanwhile Super Marco, will be able to escape still. Dodges away, oh! flicker from Cram, not able to find it just yet. And Cram, despite all the damage, he can't take anyone down. Stormy with a chase, but then the motivation roar just gets them back up. Oh, that's a War Axe diff right there. Survive, oh, Stormy gets hit. Final slash, Stormy, trying to run away, doesn't have the Black Shoes. Meanwhile, Cram gets bursted down. Kyle Teasley gets rid of Stormy. That's a two for nothing trade. Falcons AP Bren has been in the driver's seat this entire game, but the lead finally extended from 5K to 6K. Again, it's starting to even out here, and worst yet, this could mean inhibitors. The next 30 seconds is gonna be important. Oh, final slash. Again, with the vengeance. This time, Innocent able to escape those guys. Back and forth with the quad shadow. Now into Fatizzi again, very low. Innocent able to space out. Yomes with the power of nature, able to escape like it. Super Marco! Again and again, finding the play! Base short number one, in the mid lane, boom! The Filipino cannon finds another! Oh no, oh no, it's starting to fall apart for SRG! Falcons AP Red, the chain deaths are happening! Minus Fury, crowned with the bravest fighter, unable to find more, Super Marco continuing it, able to flicker out to safety, Innocent back and forth, now with another round, final slash not connecting, Innocent cannot survive! Once again, they do it! They are showing you why they are the best in this game! Every single time you count them out, they just show you it's not even close! Match point. After that MSC, have they actually fallen off so badly to a point that YRG can able to tamper them? They're, they're pulling all stops. They'll be able to actually win victory over victory to the side of YRG. Yes, you did get the title, but at least we got the trade-off for ourselves. But 17 to 15k at the moment right now, I feel like it's still anybody's game, Falcon. I'm, I, I feel like the moment that we always going in for a fight with y, uh, YRG as well as Falcon, Falcon, they always slow things down. They try to actually uh, try to calculate as much as possible. But here on our few goes for initiation. Rams try to actually be taken out, but Ogwen comes through and innocent with Stormy sticking together, taking down Yum. First of all, to be actually shut down, and we have oh. Ogwen and here on out. It seems that Super Marco is also trying to push in. We got Innocent will be able to be traded off. But in the same process, we got Stormy also been shuttled on. Oh, oh. Sakai finds a trade, but he will fall as well. A little bit more time for them to actually finish off. This Lord will be in their hands. Sakis gets the kill for the slain. And somehow, Lord Advantage is up ahead for the team of YRG. Again, what a story, right? Early yeah. game, Euteria Giants. Yeah. It doesn't seem like this game was going for their side. Mm -hmm. But then a couple of what, maybe five minutes later, mm -hmm. they were able to find the right positioning, right timing as well. And now they got the Lord. They, now they want to invade again. Cram being in the front side, being the nuisance. Yums charging, not committing just yet though. Kyle Teasy is in there. Purple buff taken with the retribution. And now you Red Giants. Oh, they want to commit the fight. Oh, he finds Yums. Yums again will be taken out. It's a 5v4 plus Lord for you Red Giants. Nicely done. Coming in. Lots pushing through right in the mid to red. As we see all of our players 
Uh, YRG coming in, Kalti Z, a little bit of damage coming through. Saki is a little bit too slow, but he's gonna go in for a fight. Super Marco in the mix of damages. It seems oh that Lord. Kalti Z is still surviving though. The he's pace. gonna actually go in, but unfortunately, it's gonna be another win for the team of YRG. And the question still stands out saying that YRG. Uh